If your kids hate sports, don't force them to do it. But of course you want them to do activities, so where are some alternatives? Through my nine kids, we've done all different types of activities. The most consistent one we've done is basketball, because some of my kids really do like basketball, and I think it's good when they're little. And none of them really like the really competitive side, they just like the play and have fun side, so we usually drop out when they're around 6th grade. Some of my kids just like to do activities on their own, like art. They'll draw with friends and send pictures to each other, and they enjoy that. I count that as an activity. Because it's something that they're doing with friends, they're opening themselves up to criticism, they're making sure they grow. And a lot of activities are really just building resiliency and commitment. So, I kind of count that. One of my kids was part of the Sheriff Explorers program all through high school, and so he served on a whole bunch of different community activities. He worked in teen court, which was like an intervention program for teens who were in trouble. He worked as the bailiff, and he enjoyed that. That program actually opened up a lot of opportunities for him, especially because he wants to devote his life to public service. Another one that I've seen open up a lot of doors for my friends' kids is chess clubs. Not only does it help them build community and connections, but it's also really great for your brain. What's extremely interesting is that when you're in the chess club and you're in traditional school, you're the nerd. When you're in the chess club and you're homeschooled, you're just normal. Like, it's just, it's not seen as weird. Lego clubs and STEM clubs are also growing in popularity. I know we have a bunch in our area. There's also gardening clubs, there's Future Farmers of America, which is FFA. There's 4-H, although the 4-H by me involves you needing to be a rule follower to do it, and so we only lasted one season. I tried. It's just not my jam. Now, if you are a homeschooler and you want your kids to do gymnastics or taekwondo or those kinds of activities, go and call all of those places and see if they have a homeschool day. A lot of the times they will have specific homeschool classes available during normal school hours. Which not only is going to be a fun activity for the kids, but it allows you to meet other homeschooling moms in your area, giving you more of a network. And the great part about meeting other homeschool moms at these events is you find out about more activities that you didn't even know about. We found out about a whole art in the park thing that we didn't even know existed until we were in gymnastics. There's also the option for music lessons, foraging clubs. Quite honestly, if you name it, you'll probably find it in the area. It's really easy to limit ourselves only to sports, but quite frankly, not everybody's meant to be in that box. If you just want your kids to have some physical activity, start a park day once a week and invite some moms. Whoever shows up, shows up. We're two hours at the park every Friday for however long. We did that for a lot of years and it was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, my work schedule doesn't allow for that anymore, but it is still something that's great for stay-at-home moms. Or moms with a more flexible work schedule. Or moms willing to brave parks on the weekends. I am not one of those people. So if you are a sports parent right now and you are dreading getting up tomorrow morning and going to practice of whatever, just know that once the season is over, you can pick a different activity that doesn't happen early on a Saturday.